Today's video is part of a series called Discipleship 101. In the past few videos, we've learned what it means to be a disciple. Being a disciple is more than what you believe up here. It's how you choose to live out there. Living as a disciple means we're growing in our faith and becoming more like Jesus. But many people start to grow in their faith and then get sidetracked or discouraged and drop out. As disciples, we don't just want to start strong, we want to finish well. Hey, it's Andrew with Into the Harvest, and this channel is dedicated to helping you live and share your faith in today's modern world. Every week, we're creating new videos with resources to help you live as a disciple of Jesus. So make sure to subscribe so you never miss out. Discipleship is a lifestyle. It's not something we figure out in the beginning and then move on from. It's a lifelong commitment. And that means we need endurance because discipleship isn't easy. The Christian life has been described as running an endurance race. Of course we want to start strong, but even more, we want to finish well. There's a race in Honolulu, Hawaii called the Hurt 100. It's hosted by the Hawaiian Ultra Running Team, which is where the name Hurt comes from. But the name is also appropriate because it's considered to be one of the most difficult races in the world. This endurance race is legendary. It's 100 miles long and only allows 100 competitors each year. Runners have a day and a half to complete the course, which is 99% single track trails. It's 100 miles of roots, puddles, and rocks through semi-tropical rainforest. Runners have 20 streams they have to cross along the way. But most difficult of all is the elevation gain. The race is run in the mountains above the city of Honolulu. Over the course of 100 miles, each runner will gain a total of 27,000 feet, which means by the end of the race, they will have run up the equivalent of Mount Everest in about 30 hours. Given how challenging the Hurt 100 course is, it's no surprise that last year, of the 100 elite runners who entered the race, only 24 finished it. Personally, I think the Hurt 100 is a great picture of our life of discipleship. First, it's a privilege just to run in this race. Few people get the opportunity. And just as the Hurt 100 is set in a paradise location, following Jesus will take us through some of the most beautiful terrain in life. But ultimately, following Jesus for a lifetime will take everything we have. And a lot of people who start this race won't finish it. At the end of his life, the Apostle Paul said, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the course, I have kept the faith. A lot of people start out excited in their faith and eager to learn, grow, and serve. But as time passes, they lose that spark. Or maybe something happens that shakes their faith and causes them to no longer walk with Jesus. And this has been true from the beginning. Very few disciples stuck with Jesus all the way to the cross and beyond. Those who did held a special place with him. On the night before his death on the cross, Jesus turned to the few disciples who were still with him and said, you are those who have stood by me in my trials. I don't know about you, but I want to hear Jesus say that to me someday. Andrew, you are one of those who stood by me till the end. But this kind of endurance requires us to be serious about the faith and to train ourselves for godliness. Not only did the Apostle Paul finish the race, he wanted to make sure those he discipled also finished well. And that's why he challenged the Corinthian believers, reminding them that those who run in a race all run, but only one receives the prize. So run in such a way that you may win. And he urged his son in the faith, Timothy, saying, discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness. I want you to think about your peers, fellow believers who are your age. Are you more serious about following Jesus than all of them? Are you setting the pace by disciplining yourself for godliness? Are you running to win? And if not, why not? Following Jesus for a lifetime will take everything you have. So how do we do it? What are some practical ways to stay faithful as disciples for the long haul? Well, I'm still running the race myself, but I have been following Jesus almost 30 years, and I've learned a few things along the way. So in our next video, I want to share with you three secrets that will help you continue to grow as a disciple for years to come. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And as always, if you want to see more content like this, hit the like button and help us spread the word by sharing these videos with others on social media. We'll see you next time.